everybody, welcome back to Silver Penguin Artycrafty. Today I'm bringing you how to make these easy felt butterflies. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button for new videos every single week on DIY home decor crafts. These butterflies are so easy to make, just a couple of bits of felt and you're away. Keep an eye out for my next week's video, which is using these butterflies on a unicorn headband. So without further ado, let's jump in. So for this demo, I'm going to show you how to make this little butterfly. It's very, very simple. And I'm going to be using these initially on the unicorn headbands. So mix them up with the flowers that I've got from a previous tutorial. I'll link the tutorial in the bottom in the description box. But so we're on the headband for the butterflies. We're going to have, sorry, headband for the unicorn. have a selection of flowers with a butterfly in the middle. And then we'll have the unicorn horn coming up the middle. Just trying to make it a little bit more unique for my little daughter. So this one here is three layers of butterflies. They're only joined in the middle just to give a 3D effect. I've done two colours, bottom and top the same, middle a different colour, contrasting colour. You can do them all the same, all different if you wish. I just like the look of the contrasting colours together. So the way I did this, I've made three templates, which is the similar design, just different sizes of butterfly. And the way I did this, I folded the card in half I drew a shape to be a butterfly wing curved at the top, looped at the bottom, and I opened it up to have a mirrored shape. And there I cut another one out, and then I just cut the shape slightly smaller, following the same line, and then I did exactly the same again for the little diddy one. So the shape itself is very, very similar, as you can see in the final butterfly here. And it's just smaller shapes of them, and then I glued them together. So I just stepped through this tutorial, cutting out the shape, sticking them together, and then that would be your butterfly to add to however and wherever you want. With your three shapes cut out, we just need to assemble them now. There we go, I've got them upside down, there we go. So, using the large one first, what you do is you put a tiny bit of bead of glue 
down the middle, just like that. Pick the net shape up and center it where you want it on that butterfly. And just hold it in place for a few seconds. There we go. And then for the next shape, so simple, repeat the same thing. A little dot of blue, because this one doesn't have much to stick on with. And again, pick your next shape up and center that where you want it on your butterfly. There we go, all I've done there is slightly trimmed off the bottom of the wings there, because these ones are slightly long. Once I put it together, they look a little bit out of proportion. So on both of these, I've trimmed off the bottom slightly just to make it a little bit more butterfly shape and more proportion. And that's your felt butterflies. Very simple, very effective, and very easy. But these could be used for multiple things. So they're going on a headband for a unicorn headband with the flowers that I've got the felt flowers. So I'll add, like I said, both those descriptions, sorry, both those links in the description box below. But they could also be used for head clips, hair clips for your hair, uh, brooches, necklaces. They could be used on um, pictures for your kids' wall, for your house wall, number of different options. Could be a ring for your finger, like that, make a beautiful ring, or you could just use the smaller one. And there we go. So there is your felt butterflies for a multiple of uses. So there we go, there are your felt butterflies. And there you go, felt butterflies for a multitude of uses. So here we have a selection of five different butterflies I've made. But what we're going to do is going to use two of these, put one onto a little hair clip, and we're going to make one into a key ring. So we'll start with the hair clip and then we'll do the key ring afterwards. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to make into a hair clip. So what we need to do is we're just going to take this little snappy clip here. It's going to put a bit of glue on the side and it's easy as that. We're going to stick the butterfly to the hair grip. So just grab my glue gun, put a dab of glue on there, put that down get the butterfly, centralise it, and stick it on. And there we go, it's that simple. So the second butterfly, what we're going to finish this one with, is going to make it into a key ring. So I have this strip of off-cut felt, it's just under 10 centimetres long, it's just an off-cut I had, but this length seems to be about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it on itself over this split key ring we have here, and then we're going to glue it down together to make it form um, a line like that. But we're gonna glue up to about here so it has free movement on the key ring. And once that's done, we are gonna stick the butterfly to the tab coming down. And that'll be the key ring to do. So I'll just do that now. So get your glue gun, and then we'll put a line of glue on this tab, like that. And then we'll close that off with the top bit of the felt, so lining those ends up just like that and squeezing together. And there we go. And then tidying up any bits of glue that seep out the side. I just tidy them up with a pair of scissors and snip them off any excess off just to give it a little bit more of a clean finish. So there we have the tab on the split key ring. And then all we need to do to finish it off is attach the butterfly. So again, another dab of glue on here like that. And get your butterfly and place where you want. I just try and make sure that the bottom of the tab is not sticking out underneath the butterfly. And press to secure it. Hold it for a few seconds. And there you have it. And that is your butterfly on a key ring. So there we have two ways to finish off your butterfly. So onto a key ring, onto a split ring key ring. So you can just hang off your bag or off your keys, however you wish, or onto a hair clip. Onto a clippy hair clip. You could put this onto a hairband. If you did it on a hairband, I would lie the hairband across the back and then secure with a bit of felt top and bottom just to tab it on like that. And then that would be on the hairband. Perfect. It would be, look very, very pretty. The other things do, you could put it onto a brooch, you could um, put it onto a material hairband or you put it onto a hairband in the middle like this on here onto this unicorn hairband I'll be bringing this tutorial to you next week how to do it but I've been making these for my daughter's birthday these are going to be party favours in her friend's bags but I'm using the butterflies in the middle with a selection of colours of flowers around the top the flower tutorials you can also find in the description box below I'll link those up as well 
And there you have gorgeous felt butterflies to do with however you wish, a clip, a key ring, headband. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a massive thumbs up. I'll see you on my next video.